Wanna well, welcome back to my channel today. We'll be continuing what if Naruto had Lee Day or the demon that Asta has. Don't necessarily remember the title. It's been, have, it's been a while since I've done this one. Anyway, without further ado, let's get right into the video. You are watching Shinobi LX. <laughs> Enjoy. And so I'll last up this part off with Naruto sitting in the woods somewhere waiting for his friends to come and get him. And now that that's been caught up or whatever. So Naruto, well not Naruto. So Team 7 starts going back to, um, starts going back to the village and Kakashi is trying to look for Naruto but um he can't find him at this present moment in time so um yeah and when Sasuke and Sakura walk like, past their friend they basically tell them that Naruto ran off and Hinata and Ino hearing this them both check well he not to knowing his secret. I don't know if I told I don't know if I made him tell um you know but uh he not to grab you know and tells him that they have to go find Naruto and Ten Ten was like I'll I'll go I'll come with you and you know looks at Ten Ten was like Are you sure you wanna do that? You know I don't I don't think Naruto would appreciate you coming and she was like, nah. He not to, like, she's like, well, Tim Tim's like, I, I'm going to go because he's an ally. He's, we may not be friends, but he's someone that's strong enough to protect the village. So, you know, and he not to was like, I don't care. If you're coming, you're coming. If you're not, you're not. And... Sasuke was like, yeah, go find a loser or whatever. And Kakashi tells Haruzen, and Haruzen starts planning something for that entire class to go do. And, like, two hours pass, and Naruto's sitting in there, and he hears them coming. Like, he, um, he hears them, like, yelling Sas, yelling his name. So, like, he gets up, and he's like, so, I wonder who it is. And when he looks over there, he sees Ino, Hinata, and Tenten. And Naruto, like, he kind of, like, smiles a little bit, knowing that those, like, two of the king, are two of his people that he actually thought of as friends king. And then one extra came, which was, well, 10 10. So when, like, now you start heading back to the village, 10 10, Nar uh, he felt, yeah, 10 10 asks Naruto, why did he run off? And Naruto was like, don't worry about why I did it. I just thought it'd be fun. Plus, I need to cool down. And. Hinata was like, well, that's not a very smart idea, Naruto. Especially after what you told us. And Naruto was like, looks at her and was like, and your point is? And Naruto looked like, Naruto was like, don't you have something to say? Referring to, you know, and Ino was like, nope, I'm just crashing your couch again tonight since you ran away. And Naruto was like, son of a bitch. And when they get back to the village, an um, not an album member, a Jonin tells them that their class has been summoned to the Hokage's office. So they all go to the Hokage's office. And the Hokage 
Ruzin tells them that they're going to have a class bonding trip, as in like their whole like graduating class goes like to a quote unquote neutral zone between all the villages to train with other villagers. Alright. So Naruto asks Haruzin when do they leave and Haruzin basically tells him like a couple in a couple of days. So it's fast forward to when they leave. So the third day right before they leave, which like a couple of hours before they leave, um Sakura and uh, Sasuke basically tells Naruto like whatever beef that they had before is you know, that's water under the bridge. You know, you can count on us. You can count on you. After all, we're on the same team. We might as well get along. And Naruto was like, sure. And it was a two-day trip. So for those two days, the whole class was able to bond with Naruto. Have fun, like, going there. And then, like, when they got there, it was, like, strict training. And the third day that they were there... They were training a group of um, not um, yeah a group of Abu members from the, this um the Cloud Village attacked Naruto's class and Naruto got um, Naruto ended up pushing Sakura out the way of one of the Abu members Kunai and got stabbed in the back by the Kunai and a lot of the um like a lot of the mem Naruto like falls down and he reaches his hand out basically asking them for help and all they did like everybody ran even Hinata and them but the last thing that Naruto heard from them like from the three that was his friends was them yelling his name and like I think yeah, I'm gonna say it was Choji and Kiba and Shikamaru that was pulling them away basically stopping them from going to get Naruto and like when they ran like when they ran away when like they got to a certain distance the nine tails took over and got naruto to safety so when naruto wakes up he's in some mountains <laughs> it's been a while since i used dills all right um he's in some mountains and he's like what happened and um the Nine Tails is like, first off, it's been a couple of months, and you've been in a, a, a sleep like state because you got attacked and your body needed time to heal. So I've been in control this entire time. And Naruto looks at the Nine Tails, and like, Naruto's like just talking in his head. He's like, So you've been in control this entire time and haven't tried to blow up anything? That's interesting. Are you sure you're the Nine Tails, or are you just some soft guy? And Naruto, we day was like, well, we have bigger problems. And um, Naruto's like, what's that? And the Nine Tails and we day basically break everything down. And the Nine Tails is like, so. Well, Naruto's like, so they didn't bother to even come for me? To look for me? They did nothing? They just assumed that I was dead. And then, like, Naruto gets, like, this look. And, like, every... You know that small village, like, right below those mountains? Yeah, they can feel his power. Like, Naruto isn't holding anything back at this point. Like, his, like, he is just full fucking, like, just, like, lead a and nine tails chakra out. Like, the max amount of power that his body can withstand right now is what he is in. So he's, like, in the three tails, nine tails state, and then, like, the full powered up version of lead a. Like the full berserk form, if you've watched Black Clover up till now, you know the weird berserk form that he gets. So, Naruto appears in front of the village, 
and like when he appears in front of the village, all you can sense like from coming off of Naruto is nothing but hatred. And like when his classmates get to the front of the village and see like a whole bunch of like shinobi, even some Anbu memories like surrounding Naruto. Like Naruto is just standing there with like a sword in his hand. And when he sees like when he sees Sakura and his classmates, he points the sword at them and we're like, You left me. I saved you. And you left me. And Hinata like Hinata, you know, and Tenten like run up to Naruto but stop halfway because like they they sense that like there's nothing there. There's like nothing there that reminds them of the Naruto that they knew. And like they're they don't know how to react. Because they've never seen this side of Naruto. So like they're just standing there. And Naruto looks at Sakura and was like, let me repay you with what should have been you and not me. And he appears behind Sakura and takes his sword and like stabs her in the back to where like the kunai and it like because the kunai was deep inside of Naruto's back. So he like he put his sword like just deep enough to the point where it would hurt like hell but wouldn't kill her. And he pulls it out. And like everybody's shocked. Even Sasuke. So Sasuke tries to like. Act like Sasuke snaps out of it. And activates his shiny gun. Basically trying to stop Naruto. And was like. Um, Naruto is just a monster now. You clearly see that. And Naruto like. Looks at. Sees the fireball coming. And he smacks it away with the sword. And he looks at Sasuke. And he just vanishes. And, like, Hinata is, like, looking on at what the hell, like, what's going on. And, you know, was like, what the hell just happened? And Tenten was like, see, I knew we shouldn't have tried to become friends with him. He's nothing but a monster. And, Hinata, you know, looks at... Hinata, I'm like, you know, what, what are we, I mean, Hinata, what are we supposed to do? And Hinata was like, I don't, I don't know. I, I don't know what we can do. It's not like I can reach him because I don't feel as if like we can. And like right after Naruto leaves, a guy with white hair walks into the village and was like, wow, what happened here? And this is where I'm in this part off. I hope y'all enjoyed. If y'all did drop a like, if y'all enjoyed my content, please subscribe. Anyway, without further ado, this has been Shinobi and I'm out.